Member for Surrey Cloverdale. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. And um, I, I just want to just quote something that um, the member from North Vancouver Lonsdale had said. Like nobody jumps into a car to drive around in a hundred for 150 kilometers in a circle just for the fun of it. Nobody gets into their car to be stuck in rush hour traffic for two hours just for the fun of it. But I can tell you that SkyTrain, when you've got a grandson and you're heading over to North Vancouver and you get on the, on the, on the bus that goes across the water, that's fun and that's enjoyable. So Madam Speaker, with regards to SkyTrain and the, and the Act and Bill 16 and my support for it, uh, work's already started in Surrey. Um, like my friend across, uh, I've got two stations coming to my riding uh, in areas that are going to be well supported by the young families uh, that are there that are looking for more affordable housing uh, that's coming. Uh, I can tell you, Madam Speaker, that the area through Green Timbers, where there's an urban forest, uh, and it has been completed. Uh, the streets there, the curbs are up. They're just waiting for that thing to be put in the middle uh, of that road to start its way out to, out to Langley. When I think about what this act is going to do, public transit's more than just getting people from their house to work or their house to the sh shopping centre, other things like that. Public transit has the ability to reduce those greenhouse gases, to get those people out of their vehicles, and for a very long time. When I think about the, the best time that's ever suited, uh, if I have to go downtown, being on a SkyTrain is the perfect place to do your work. You know, grab your iPad, grab your phone, uh, take, take, let somebody else take you down there and get out at the bottom. These amendments um, will give the BC Transportation Financing Authority the ability to do what it is that we want them to do and, and to purchase land for housing and other areas that are there. When I think about the stop that will be in my area of Clayton, uh, I think of the potential that's, that's there. People that are buying in that area right now are looking at properties that are already uh, green buildings. Uh, there was a recent building that was put up there, uh, a condo that was basically EV equipped, LED lighting, all the, th all the amenities that are all there. And by the time the for sale sign went up, it was gone. So the people that are in my riding are very conscious of what their footprint that they're leaving behind. The work's begun and, and the thought of having the Transportation Authority uh, purchasing land uh, and, and developing that in a greater sense is an awesome thing. When we think about a high rise and we think about how many people that will be there, we think about that person that buys that, that unit on the 24th floor uh, and there's commercial retail units on the, on the ground floor and their transportation to work is an elevator for 23 floors. No need for a car, they can walk about, they can do all of that. With regards to what this, this is going to mean for us, I know our local, local uh, council uh, has already amended the OCP to take into consideration densification along this corridor that's there. This, Madam Speaker, will go a long way into supplying that, those housing units that are out there that we need to come to Metro Vancouver in, in a fairly quick way. The way that we're going to see mixed use with this bill coming forward is, is going to change the landscape of my riding forever. And it's important that we're there before it's built, that we, we learn what we need to have in the community because, Madam Speaker, one of the other things that puts a smirk on my face is that one station that will be there with the possibility of a hub that will take people to the hospital that's coming to Cloverdale. And we can't forget that. So somebody that needs to get that kind of care will have that kind of transportation to get them there, because we all know what it's like to park at a hospital, and it's much easier to use transit that's there. When we think about the, the transportation that's there, I know it doesn't look like it, but I do spend a fair bit of time on my bike. I do ride my bike to my constituency office, and this kind of transportation built at the same time will include those bike lanes, those walking lanes, those pathways, to make it active uh, lifestyles for those people that are out there. These transit-orientated uh, developments uh, we talked about the 800 metres. Uh, I know as local government, that's what we used as well, uh, 800 metres, uh, about a 10-minute walk. 
um, even for me, uh, to, to get to, to those, those areas that are there. So we'll be able to see those, those hubs that will be built around there and best utilized uh, when this act comes forward. The legislation, it, it changes all the, all the future transit that's there. And it's, Madam Speaker, it's just for the people. It's just for those people that are looking for a place to live, looking for those people that want to get out of a car, looking for those people that want to get to work in a clean and efficient manner. We know that when you provide transit into an area, it gets the people out of the cars. And right now, uh, for anybody in my riding to want to drive into downtown Vancouver, we're probably looking at an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes. If you're within 800 meters, it's probably going to be closer to about 47 minutes. And you just think about how that compounds itself on a week, on a month, and how many days in a year that you spend behind that wheel that you no longer have to, so that you can now spend that time uh, with your family. And, and the last thing that I'll leave it with in, in support of the bill is that specific to my riding, when you build it right there, they'll be able to jump on it, they'll be able to go to the rec centers, they'll be able to go to the libraries, they'll be able to go downtown, they'll be able to go to all these other areas that are built within the city. And the use for a fossil fuel vehicle is no longer there. Uh, and on that note, I, I thank you for the opportunity and I'm looking forward to this thing passing.